He's one of Hull's most honoured war veterans. Today, people came together to remember Jack Harrison, a moving moment for his surviving relatives. Proud of the man we certainly are. And, uh, and to see all of this um, adoration, for want of a better word, going on is, is wonderful. Wonderful. Jack Harrison was 27 when he died at the Battle of Oppie Wood in France. He was one of hundreds killed from the East Yorkshire Regiment. But Jack's bravery set him apart. He died while leading his men into no man's land, trying to knock out a machine gun battery and save his platoon. His actions won him the Victoria Cross and he's remembered by the armed forces to this day. We should never forget our history as far as I'm concerned. You know, the sort of things that he gave his life to have it to have the country that we currently got today, you know, and that's immense, so we should, should never forget that. You know, we can use those attributes he demonstrated as a young man and, and, and use them as an example of what can be achieved and what can be demonstrated through those key, key attributes, leadership, courage, selflessness. He was christened John Harrison, but everyone knew him as Jack. A paving stone bearing his name was unveiled at Hull History Centre. But Jack is remembered for more than his military action. Before joining the army, he was a prolific try scorer for Hull FC. And present day players still talk of his achievements. Obviously, Jack Harrison, uh, before he was obviously the, the great war hero, he was um, an unbelievable rugby league player. Um, He's someone who holds uh, the record for the amount of tries in a season, you know. And then obviously, you know, what the the story after that is even probably even greater than that itself. You know, the sacrifice ultimately he made uh, for us all to be stood here today. So family, military personnel, and rugby stars all came together today to honour Jack Harrison, a fitting group to remember a remarkable life. Matthew Bone, BBC Look North, Hull.